Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation. My name is Xing Zhao, come from the Texas A&M University in the United States. Today, I would like to present our paper published in the Web Conference 2021, The Rabbit Holes and the Taste Distortion, Distribution of Weird Recommendations with the Involving Interests. This paper is collaborated with my lab mate Zi Wei and my advisor James. First, let's talk about the rabbit holes in the recommendation system. Here is an example. Suppose a user always listens to rock and metal music in the platform. Following some recommendations, this user may repeat a certain music related to the far-right topic. You know, there are many such kind of music exists, right? What will happen next? The recommendation system would recommend more and more extreme right contents, such as related music, videos, broadcasts, to this user. Such recommendation is not welcomed, because feeding this extreme right contents into user's recommendation page would influence their ideology. The good news is, there are more and more research works focused on this rabbit hole effect in the recommendation system. They analyze this effect, for example, the paper I cited here, and provide the approaches to mitigate this effect. The first direction of this method is called diversification-focused recommendations. They aim to cover many diverse aspects, either implicit or explicit aspects, to avoid the rich get richer effect. But there are also some drawbacks of this kind of the method. For example, it is hard to provide the interpretable results. For more analysis of the pros and cons of this kind of method, please refer to our paper. The other direction to find the rabbit hole effect is called the distribution aware recommendations which aims to ensure that users' prior taste preferences should be reflected in the recommendations. For example, a user who historically prefers sci-fi to romantic movies by 2x1 by should see a similar ratio in the recommended movies. Of course, this approach could effectively avoid the overemphasizing popular areas to mitigate the rich get richer or rabbit hole effect because we follow some desired taste distribution for the recommendation, and better serves niche interests by improving their exposure. In addition, comparing with the diversification-focused recommendations, it can also provide the interpretability for the recommendations. For example, it can let us know why the system recommends such kind of list into our front page. However, there are also some drawbacks for the distribution of weird recommendations. First, it assumes that the target preference, I mean the one we would follow to recommend, should exactly match users' prior ones. And second, they assume such preference is fundamentally static. These two assumptions are widely used in the distribution of weird recommenders. But as it true, to verify this, let's dive into it with some real-world examples. Here, we present users' cumulative taste distribution over time. The x-axis is the genre of movies, and the y-axis is the ratio of how users like this genre. As time goes by, this distribution is a change a lot in the beginning, but when we move it to later, it becomes more and more stable in the end. That means when user collected enough interactions to build a cumulative preference, any new interactions would only change this preference a little bit. If we stop playing anywhere, this distribution becomes the targeted distribution where the conventional distribution of weird recommenders trying to match. However, 
where we add users' next preference and show them together in this figure, we found that the story is totally changed. Here, we call the user's next preference as the taste distribution of users' interactions in the next few movies or you watch the movies in the next few days. So, in another word, the green one is the taste distribution of the ground truth. And there is one more relationship is updating the current cumulative preference the red tea with the next preference green tea becomes the next cumulative preference red tea plus one. As we observed, users' next preference always dramatically shifts and does not match the red ones. If we recommend follow the red distribution, of course the recommended taste distribution will be far away from the ground truth. And in this paper, we call the difference between the taste distribution of the recommendation and the ground truth as the taste distortion. As many previous works stated, there is always a trade-off between the recommendation utility and the distribution matching. That is, as this table shows, when the taste distribution of the recommendation is closer to the target one, the recommendation utility is getting worse. Through the previous example, it is easy to guess that the drop of the recommendation utility is caused by the taste distortion. That is, if the recommended system tries to match the result with the wrong distribution, which is far from the ground true one, of course it will not be accurate. To justify our hypothesis, we apply the conventional distribution of our recommenders and using the next preferences the green one as the target. Then the recommendation utility is much better than the previous result, using the red distribution as the target. And even much better than the result of the accuracy driven recommendations. Of course, the next preference, the green one, is unknown in practice. But through this test, we notice that choosing a good taste distribution as the target will much improve the recommendation utility. Therefore, next, we are going to briefly introduce our approach called Taste Enhanced Calibration TechRec, which can mitigate both the rabbit hole problem and the taste distortion. Given this figure we already showed before, again, the red ones are users' cumulative preferences, and the green ones are ground true preferences in the next stage. Traditional accuracy driven recommender would amplify the red distribution and cause the rabbit hole effect. The conventional distribution of rare recommenders try to match the red distribution but bring the new taste distortion problem. But our approach, TechRec is trying to match users' real preference in the next stage, the green one, to mitigate both the rabbit holes and the taste distortion simultaneously. Okay, the first challenge is, we don't know users' preference in the next stage. Therefore, we use that recurrent neural network to learn these dynamic trends and shifts and predict the user's next preference. Then, in the next step, we incorporate these learned shifts into a re-ranking framework for improving the calibrated recommendation. There are several things to be highlighted here. The first, since it is the post-rank framework, it can be added to any existing recommendation result without retraining the model. Next, as other studies, we use a parameter lambda as the knob to balance the contribution of user item relevance and the distribution matching. Larger lambda indicates we focus more on the closeness of the distribution. Now, 
we don't have enough time to dive into the details of the methodology of our proposed approach. But welcome to read the paper for more details. Let's check the result from two perspectives. First, we want to check how good we predicted the user's next preference. We compare our predicted taste distribution with the distribution from the recommendation result of several baselines, like the calibrated recommendation with the previous cumulative preferences, the calibrated recommendation with the latest preferences, diversification focused recommendations, as well as the sequential recommenders. As the result shows, our predicted results from three RNN-based models are much closer to the real one than the traditional baselines, which brings us the confidence to use the learned taste distribution into our calibration step. This figure shows that the results by our proposed methods have significantly lower KR dependency on each setting of the lambda comparing with the conventional distribution aware method. And from the other perspective, let's talk about the recommendation utility. First, comparing with the conventional distribution aware recommenders, our recommendation result is impressively improved in each setting of the calibration weight lambda. And second, since we introduced the taste distribution as the feature of the input. The recommendation result even better than the accuracy-driven recommenders on most settings of lambda. In addition, recall that our proposed approach can be added into any existing recommendations without retraining. Using the sequential recommender, SASRAC as the base, our proposed framework also gets the impressive result. In a short summary, our proposed method breaks the stereotype that the distribution matching and the recommendation utility should be a trade-off. And it provides much more accurate recommendations with the predicted taste distribution. Conclusion In this paper, we first analyzed the taste distortion problem through a data-driven study and we introduced our approach, which can mitigate both the rabbit holes and the taste distortion problem simultaneously, and improve the recommendation utility from the accuracy-driven recommenders and the distribution-aware recommenders with our predicted test distribution. In the future work, we are interested in analyzing how did rabbit holes and the test distortion involve in the dynamic recommendation loop. And how can we mitigate them during the recommendation loop rather than our current static process? Thank you very much for your time.